plan your New Year's Eve party, and who better to give us tips and ideas on the perfect party is event extraordinaire, Brooke Palmer Cool. Good morning. Well, hello, Carly. This looks fabulous. Job well done. It's, it's interesting for me to be on this side of the counter, I but know. I like it. She's always in studio, <laughs> by the way, bringing us friends here on the uh, on the set. But what I love is because your specialty really is kind of extravagant and, and really amazing parties. But you say, you know what? You can still have that look. You can. And not spend all that money at home. No, and I think what the key of it, it and especially for New Year's, mm -hmm. is like New Year's is the, the thing where like a lot of people go out to dinner or they think it needs to be this big fancy party. It doesn't. You can use what you have at home. And that's why I, with some of my friends and some help, like you can, this is definitely things that I have in my house. Yes, and repurpose. So, right, so I kind of made it where knowing that the national championship playoff games are happening yes. on New Year's Eve. Um, you can In always, Tampa. In Tampa, <laughs> right. But on New Year's Eve, they're playing the games, so it's really fun if you kind of do things yeah. themed around the games. My husband happens to be a Buckeye. Yeah. Hooray. So Natalie's super excited. I, know, I, back I, there. I, yeah. I brought my Buckeye stuff for Natalie, but like this can be, you know, the champagne for, for guys can be beer. Clearly this isn't, you know, Miller High Life, <laughs> which is the champagne of beers, but... Um, making popcorn that's themed in the colors. This is from Chef Popcorn Company. Okay, it's yes. Chef Inspired Popcorn, and these are Clemson colors and Ohio State colors. Easy. I'm clearly a little biased, but super easy, really fun, and not like a hard, I mean, not I very like expensive. I split it up this morning. You said guys yes. over here, the ladies over here. Well, you know, women also like things that are fancy and fun, so, you know, you, using a, the big house brands of champagne, like Laurent Perrier, Veuve Clicquot, Chandon even, which I wanted to explain a little bit about the- Please the, do. The, I'm like the difference. I'm champagne, so, uh, champagne a champagne comes from France, the Champagne region of France. Whereas, like this is a sparkling wine because it's from California. So, but those are tend to be a little bit cheaper. So, Chandon's a great brand. Um, I was going to say, but it still tastes good. Yeah, it's, I mean, yeah. it still all tastes the same. It's just sparkling wine mm -hmm. because in the wine business, it's very, it's technical. And so, like Laurent Perrier is one of the biggest houses of Champagne. So, this is a very good rosé. But you don't have to spend mm -hmm. 40, 50 bucks on a bottle of Champagne. For example, you can use a Spanish cava, which is a cava. Now, again, it's sparkling wine. But Frigionet, for example, is 13 bucks at Publix. So, this is a really great. It drinks great. You'll like it. it I mean. Still has the same pop and hangover. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? We don't want that, bro. No. Um, but like, we also did glitter popcorn for the ladies, so mm -hmm. the guys can have their, you know, Ohio State what popcorn. Is this sugar on it? What makes the glitter? Yeah, it's a sugar edible. glitter okay. on the caramel popcorn, so it caramelizes together. And then everybody likes a mini donut. Yes. So if you want snacks, like you can order glitter donuts, something fun for the guys and the girls. Mm -hmm. I don't think that you need to feed people all the time. Yeah. I think that people get the pressure of doing house parties and feel like I have to have all this food, and then it's it's. What are you doing the next day? You're eating Just leftovers. Have a little something to munch on. Have enough. Like, order a Publix deli tray. Yeah. Like, get charcuterie at the store. Cut up meat and cheese. It's mm -hmm. super simple. You don't have to spend a ton of money. And then it gives people enough to nosh on while they're drinking. Especially and then, if they're drinking. I do think it's important yeah. to make sure that you have a little bit of food there. You also say don't let the party go on longer than it, what it needs to. No, I think people get think that New Year's is like the night they're supposed to like go all out, mm -hmm. right? Well, that's fine, except like the party's got to end sometime. <laughs> you know, you're not in Vegas and 21 anymore. So you probably should think about, okay, the party's gonna end at one o'clock and then your guests leave or you make sure they give an Uber or Lyft or so some kind of transportation. So one o'clock is a fair time to send people packing and Absolutely. on their way Absolutely. I've worked every New Year's for like the past 15 years and I'm probably like one of the first people okay. in bed, even after working, <laughs> because it just gets to the point where it doesn't have to be like every some special night. Like it can be like a fun night and a great night, but like enough's enough. Like mm -hmm. there are a lot of people who choose not to drink. So definitely have non-alcoholic um, I like that idea as well. As well yes. Like you can get sparkling cider. You well, can make. If you're gonna have a designated driver at a party or something. You of need course. To make sure that and you can make a non-alcoholic beverage. You don't always have to use, you know, mm -hmm. Tito's and make straight yeah. up martinis. You can make, you know, a, like a, a cranberry sour that's just mm -hmm. really good. That like can be in a martini glass, but it's a mocktail. Yeah. And that's totally fine because to be honest, you'll feel a lot better on the first. <laughs> yes, that's so. So true. I think that some people tend to overindulge. I would make, definitely say like base coat. Yeah. Have, have some okay. snacks, have some drinks, have some champagne, which I brought some for you. All right.
right, awesome. Um, but I mean, so, where'd you get these balloons, by the way? I, I told so that one she gets the award for bringing <laughs> the biggest balloons. You know me and my props, yes. Uh -huh. So, and I'd say that, like, so these are from Party City, so super fun. Like, you can get party tool, like, yeah. different fun party ideas and hats and, and noise blowers and stuff that make your party fun. That's not very expensive. They have boxes, like, kits for, like, 25 people. <laughs> so you go in and buy the box and you're done or order them online. I mean, Amazon yeah. is delivering everything. I, I mean, know. a drone can, like, I drop it in your in your uh, house today so it's it, you'll have everything in time and then you don't have to spend all this crazy well, look, money there's even bling on here I love it you gotta have bling right <laughs> and again these are champagne glasses that mm -hmm. were literally given to me for my wedding Aww. so again using something don't be afraid that, to use them no, I know you need to use them and it's something that I had and my husband was even like wow where did those come from <laughs> I'm like great honey so remember like look around your house find things these are apothecary jars that I had like other things in so this is a like something that I've used for like you know, mm -hmm. flowers and candy and whatever. So you can make it really fun. And this is all stuff you can find around the house. Cheers. You're awesome. Great. Well, cheers to New Year. I know, right? Happy Lots New Year. Yes, Excited to, to see what's to come in 2017. Thank and you we'll so much. We'll see you again soon. Absolutely. Thank you. Thanks, Carly. All right.